So in this video, we're going to talk about the dangling pointers in the C programming language. Now, dangling pointer occur at the time of object destructuring or destruction or when the object is deleted or deallocated from the memory or when you're trying to modify the value of a particular variable which is outside the scope of the pointer. So let's actually try to take a look at an example. So I'm going to include my library. So include and then stdio.h and then my main function. Outside of this main function, I'm going to create a new function. I'm going to call it, let's just say address. And this function is going to return the address of a local variable. So I'm going to create a variable a and I'm going to give it a value of 10. And then I'm going to create an integer pointer and set it equal to the address of a. After that, we're basically going to return the pointer. Now in this function or in this main function, we're going to create a new variable and we're going to call it integer pointer p and we're going to set it equal to the address function. And then we're going to try to get the output from that particular pointer. So this is going to give us the value at that address. And if we do this, this is going to give us the address of that pointer. And by the way, this is not PTR, this is actually P. Let me just change these to P. And then if I save and execute my program, I should be met with an error. So there you go. As you can see that the error is simply a dangling pointer. Basically, we're trying to return a value or an address to a locally created variable into this one. We would be able to get the address of the memory location, but we won't be able to fetch the value at that memory location. So that is how we get the error of dangling pointers. After that, we can also do include stdlib.h and then we create the main function and return zero. This time around, I'm going to show you what happens when you deallocate a memory. Now, we can also create a dangling pointer by using the free function. So I'm going to create a pointer, which is the integer, let's say PTR, and I'm going to set it equal to type casted integer and malloc. And in malloc, I'm going to pass in the size of the integer data type. So after that, we're going to create a variable. Let's just call it value and set it equal to one, two, three, four. After that, we're going to set this pointer equal to the address of our value variable. And then we're going to use the free function to free up the pointer variable. Now, this is also going to create a dangling pointer. This was all about dangling pointers in the C programming language. So there are two kinds of pointers when we try to deallocate memory like this one. And in the previous example, we got a dangling pointer when we're trying to access a variable out of scope. And dangling pointer is a very common mistake that beginners make when they're trying to learn the C programming language.